In tons of medieval movies and games, the heroes are just slicing and dicing their way through enemy soldiers with ease. They just make a single glancing slash to an armored enemy's backside and assume they killed them while moving to the next enemy. Yeah, that's complete bullshit. In this video on Nerd Explains, I'll tell you why sword slashing armored enemies is a huge movie and game sin. In medieval days, the most common type of armor was layered linens and hardened leather. It was cheap, light, and effective for stopping sword slashes and slower moving arrows. This is the minimum amount of armor our heroes are facing. The cheapest, most peasant status armor is already giving the heroes a hard time. They may still be able to slash a bit, but it mainly has to be in the lightly or unprotected areas like the neck or underarms. The hero could still stab their way through, granted they had a stabby enough sword. Now if you add chainmail or metal armor on top of this, like what the Roman Centurions or the Lord of the Rings orcs wore, slashing will be completely useless. <laughs> Stabbing with the sword will also be incredibly difficult or impossible. In order to stab through chainmail alone, you need a pointy sword and an incredibly planted powerful thrust. And even then, it is likely that the blade will only get an inch or two into the body, as the sword does get wider towards the hilt and gets stopped by the chainmail. And if they have leather, chainmail, and metal plate armor, forget about even stabbing your way through. So, you can see that the combatant would be safe from bleeding and cuts. It withstood pretty heavy blows. Uh, even the chainmail, and this is not a very expensive one, withstood stabbing and uh, slashing here. The movies and games where people run each other through with swords while they're wearing leather, chainmail, and metal plate armor is completely ridiculous. If the hero is fighting armored infantry, they need to adopt some other weapons and strategies to be effective. With an armored opponent, you have to go for weak points where there isn't armor. Unless the hero can slash or stab the throat or drive the sword through an unarmored body part, they won't be able to kill them. They can use a half-sorting technique, which gives them more spear-like thrusting power to attempt to jab the sword through the light armor. And this also makes it easier to get the pointy edge of the sword into gaps in the enemy's armor. When you hold the weapon like this, it becomes much easier to get the point into gaps, and this is especially useful in armor for armored fighting, of course. They can also use the Mordhau or murder stroke technique, which basically means holding the sword's blade and using it like a hammer or mace to whack an opponent in the head with the pommel, basically beating them to death. Another weapon used to defeat armored enemies was the poleaxe which was a spear with a big sharp spike on the end. You could drive this into armor and penetrate it effectively. There's a lot of strategies for taking down armored enemies, but the point is we never see the hero overcome those realistic challenges. They just slash. Even if the enemy infantry is not armored at all, a lot of these light slashes still will not be immediately fatal. They could still get back up or turn around and kill you. The zombie land rule for double tapping applies here as well. You need to ensure that they are dead before moving on, otherwise you're gonna get a blade shoved into your back. To really put down a soldier for good, you need to either slash a vital area like the neck, stomach, or inner legs, or run the sword through their torso completely. That should do the trick, unless you came across the Ocles or the mountain. In which case, you might as well commit seppuku right there on the spot. Every time I see a hero dancing their sword off of enemy soldiers, and moving on without pause, I just can't help but imagine that eventually the heroes will find themselves in the middle of the enemy army's ranks, turn around, and realize they didn't actually defeat anyone. All the enemy soldiers they thought they succinctly killed remained completely uninjured and have turned around and closed the hero in. The only way slashing your way through enemy ranks works 
is if you have a lightsaber. Considering the hero can't just slice and dice with ease, I think it's worth mentioning the other video I made where I talked about exhaustion being the death of heroes in movies and games. Fighting in armor or against armored opponents is much harder than unarmored, and our hero will get tired, weak, and vulnerable really quickly. Basically, these heroes are screwed. Do you agree or disagree that heroes effortlessly slashing through hordes of enemies is a bit unrealistic? Thanks for watching.